Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a cool little ratchet. This is a slim profile mini ratchet from Klein Tools, part number 65200. And there's a couple of reasons why I bought this little ratchet. So I bought this in Home Depot and I paid like $21 for it. You can get it on Amazon a little bit cheaper than that. I think I saw it for $16.95 or $16.97, something like that. I'll put links down below for this ratchet. Now, the reason that I bought it. First of all, with these smaller ratchets, and we've looked at a few of them here on the channel, is that while they're very convenient and comfortable to carry because of their size, oftentimes they can be a little hard to operate simply for the fact of their small profile where this one has this finger loop in here which allows you to get some more grip to it and that's one thing that i really liked about this another thing that i liked about it is that uh, it comes integrated or with with the bit kit it has the quarter inch square driver already with it so you can adapt to uh, quarter inch sockets and the last thing was that it comes integrated with one quarter and five sixteenths drivers 516 in particular because that's a very very common and popular driver here in the US so for those reasons I picked this little guy up so let's get it opened up check it out see how it operates okay so on the back of this thing it has a little screw so we're just gonna take my driver here unscrew that see if we can't get that ratchet out of there first set that to the side pry this backwards and there is the ratchet and it's got that little piece in there i'll see what i had to do to get that out in just a second okay and then we'll get the little bit kit out of here as well so the bits that come with it if i can get them out again has that quarter inch square drive it's got the uh, quarter inch flat drive 3 16 flat drive number one and two phillips so that's a pretty decent combination it's a shame it doesn't have a couple of robertson's and a couple of the more common uh torques to go along with that but nonetheless so let me see what i got to do to get this little guy off. I wonder if I gotta get my pliers out here to check that out. Yeah, just had to pop it off. Okay, so, and I think the packaging also said that this was magnetic, so let's check that out. So, first we'll start with this driver, and it'll go on the quarter inch side, obviously. And so it does have, let's see if there's any retention springs. It does have a, a slight retention spring right there in the corner. I know that's going to be very, very difficult to see, but it is embedded. You can see it right there. So it both has that, and uh, obviously it's going to be magnetic. So I didn't check that out. Let me see. Not very strong magnetic if it is. I guess I had to try it out with a socket or something to find out how well it seats in there, or better yet, Let's put this number two Phillips on here and set the screw in. Yeah, it is magnetic. So that's a nice little feature. Okay, so the ratchet mechanism switches here. It's also got a, a, a knurled piece here where you can actually tighten or get it started pretty much with your fingers and then go into ratchet mode. I had to check the tooth count on this thing, but this I really like this. Let's see how hard it is to... Not too bad to pull out and, and change out uh, and change out drivers. I I absolutely love this. I've, you know, and I've tested a bunch of these little ratchets, but I think I like this one the best so far. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it holds up. But with uh, you know with driver bits, you don't you're not putting a whole lot of of torque on driver bits. Now, if you go into sockets, that's a little different story. But with uh, with screwdrivers. You shouldn't be over torquing those to the to the point where this would uh you know beyond its breaking point i wouldn't think so let's see if we can't get the count on this so it's got a little dot here i'll speed this up for you okay so I lost count while I was doing this, but I had to go to the Amazon uh, store to check this one out to see, and it's actually 72 tooth, and the ratchet mechanism seems like it is pretty good. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get something to play around with this and see how well it works. Okay, so the only thing that I could find handy were these uh, lath screws. So let me I tell you what I'm going to start. Uh, let me get my all out here. And I'm going to start a 
hole here because these are not self-threading so that we can get this screw started we'll see how this thing works out so this should be number two and it is and we'll see if we can start it like this that actually grabs really nicely I didn't quite get it in there square and going a little bit crooked but yeah I really like the way that performs that that finger hole in there that finger grab makes all the difference in the world and I'm actually gonna seat this down well into the wood there so I really like the way this ratchet performs 72 tooth so that's gonna be five degree arc swing and then let's see if we're in any trouble nope no trouble getting them out after we put some torque onto it so uh, the only thing I wish this had was a little bit broader bit kit but apart from that, I am extremely happy with this. In fact, I might uh, end up carrying this myself. Uh, some of the other ratchets that I've tested, while some of them have been really good, I just haven't really carried them with me because I didn't, I guess I just didn't uh, feel like they offered enough or maybe they were a little bit too cumbersome to use, but I'm actually gonna try this one out on the job site. Uh, see how I like carrying this thing because I think this will be pretty convenient to carry and then the little switch it didn't come out so there was no problem there when I was ratcheting that thing in and, and because of its profile it's pretty easy pretty comfortable to set your thumb on it to get pressure or your other hand uh, so that you can drive or you know to get more uh, torque uh, or more pressure so that you can apply more torque uh, very comfortably so i really like this a lot this is a this is a great little tool and it looks like that might be the magnet right there it sure is so on the 516 side that's why we weren't getting as much magnetic force with the bits just enough to hold in like that screw but especially over here on the 516 side it's going to allow uh, you to get on and hold on to fasteners quite well so this is the klein slim profile mini ratchet part number 65200 i really like this one links will be in the description below uh, i think you guys are going to like this little ratchet quite a little bit my name is ben you've been watching the texas tool crib i appreciate you watching i'll see you in the next one i'm going to try this again on the side so you can see it a little better so let me get a divot started here for this screw and then I'll go ahead and preset this one. Oop, got it in the opposite direction. Get that to grab, and then we'll get it on the side, and we'll see just how well she works. So here we go. Oh, yeah, that thing is fantastic. Look how deep that's set in there. So with the combination of that knurling to help get it started and then that finger grab, this thing makes an excellent little EDC ratchet. And I think you guys are going to like this quite a little bit.